All right, what up, YouTube? We are back for part two of number two tournament playthrough. Quick update, we have $2 knockout, progressive knockout up top, $20 dozen, second, third is the crazy eights, and then fourth is the NFL playoffs turbo or regular monster stack. So we're going to go ahead and get going on to the first hand, which happens to be 6-6. Six, six. I'm going to face a raise, which I'm going to go ahead and re-raise. I think it's a good spot to re-raise because it's blind versus blind and you have a pair. But then when you face the jam, he's probably got an over pair or it's a flip most of the time. So people would definitely say fold, but I looked at the thing and I was ninth in chips. I put him on a flip, decided to gamble and we did not win the flip and a we actually got like a couple percent more to win anyway we lose that one to be fair i was a slight favorite only ninth and chips out of 12 and i'm trying to make the final or i'm trying to win to be honest so i did i gambled trying to win but anyway, on the next hand, we are facing a raise with King King, and you know we got a three bet, and we got the Queen Jack suited with ten bigs. I'm just gonna try and get him off of it. We're almost to the final table. That was another reason I think I gambled was because I was running so hot, I was feeling invincible. We're gonna bet this Kings on this dry-ish flop and get a min raise, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it in. Hope you don't got 9-8, and he's going to have king-10. Completely garbage hand. We're going to double up. All right, these spots are kind of interesting when people decided to just jam over 20 bigs. When I got ace-king, I mean, if he's dumb enough to jam over 20 bigs, he's probably dumb enough to do with a bad hand. So I go with the ace-king. I re-jam just to try to isolate. Pocket sevens. I mean, another flip. I'm going to lose another flip, but... I mean, if he's got sevens there, I mean, he's probably got all kinds of things we dominate, too. That's why I pretty much usually go with it. The third hand in a row coming out of the crazy eights. This time it's ace-queen suited, and this is an auto three-bet hand. Raise and a call. Love these spots. Good chance they both fold. If he calls, we usually have him dominated. And it's going to come jack, 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 which this is a great board for us because we can represent the aces and the queens blocking those hands. He's going to call, though. And we're going to get an eight. Now, that card shouldn't hit him very often. As a matter of fact, he should have hands like sevens and sixes a lot if he calls, I feel like. But he's going to call again, and now it's just... Yeah, we can't really keep betting. At this point, it's he's got to have something. He's not. I don't think he's gonna fold if he called those two streets. But then yeah, he's gonna put like half our stack in and a very unfortunate hand back to starting stack again, just like that. The beginning of this video has been kind of rough so far, but don't worry, we're about to go crazy in one of these. The next hand, though, is going to be this ace-king, and what do you know, the crazy eights again. And if, if you saw that, it was pretty quick, but yeah, there's a jam. We're going with it. Let's see if we can get back up over the starting stack again. A little bit of roller coaster going on in this one. Also, the second table is now the $2 super progressive knockout. It is very good money. This guy's going to tank forever. All right, and 190 second time bank later, we get the reveal. He has jacks, another flip, but it's going to work. We're going to win a flip. No way. And here we are at the $2 PKO with Ace King suited. Have to go with it. Oh, my gosh. Eighth place. Not what you want to see. 
But do not worry, that is not the tournament I was talking about going quote-unquote crazy in because we have aces in the NFL playoffs, monster stack. We're going to get some action. Man, come on, people, let's get some money in this pot. After a bunch of tanking, we're going to get a 3x raise, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to 3x raise him. Let's go. You already know. Needed that. Heh, <laughs> ha ha. The top table is now satellites, but we're going to get the spot in the crazy eights. Kind of scary because of the limp pretty early position, but I'm pretty sure I can get through the small blind. I get through him, but small blind limped in with ace king. I feel like that's not a good play. But it worked out for him this time. All right, this next one's going to be in the knockout, super progressive. I decided to gamble with the 9-10 off with a short stack, and it's about time we get lucky somewhere. Hey, you see that. That makes up for all them flips. All right, next hand in the super progressive knockout, I'm going to get ace-10 off in middle-ish position. 11 blinds, good enough for a jam. Fortunately, we run into the ace-queen, so even though we got super lucky with the 10-9, it's not going to pay off. But how far are we going to go in this NFL playoffs? All the other tournaments are just sit and goes now, so every hand is... Is it here? Is this the hand where I redeem myself from the t all the prior runs and double up? No, he just has ace king too. All right, now we got ace king again, 10 bigs. Yeah, I'm going all in with that. And the guy next to act is also going to go all in, which is not always our favorite sight. Nope, just ace king again. All right, I swear if this dude has aces too, I'm going to be really sad. Nope, he's got ace king this time, but we got the aces. All right, we're going to go ahead and raise these pocket twos and hit a set. Please call. That's what we were thinking, but nope, not today. No action. But it's okay because we're going to get kings. You already know what we're going to do here. We're going to get raised on, and we're just going to jam. Kings is too good. Hopefully he calls. With worse, he will. We're going to win another big-ass pot. All right, we're going to get a button raised by the same guy, which King 4 suited I think is good enough. We're going to flop a backdoor nut flush with a middle pair. Definitely going to call that. Turn not so nice. But he's going to bet small, so I kind of like floating again here, hoping he checks. Check. Let's go. No. All right, the next featured hand is going to be another bad king suited. But we're going to flop a king. So it's a little with top pair. And we're going to turn a gutter. We're going to bet now because our hand is still kind of vulnerable to an ace and some other things. Flushes. We get that clean turn. Got a little value there. Blinds are starting to get big. King, queen off is not my favorite hand to raise under the gun, but... We're going to go ahead and do so, and we're going to get called by this giant 2 million stack. Yeah, you know we're getting deep now. And it's going to be ace, jack, 2, 2 spades. I like betting here because I have a queen of spades, and I can turn a 10. Also, I have a lot of ace, x. Another spade. Once again, I got the queen, x. I'm going to bet again. The bluffs just are not working in this on this session. 
And yeah, we're not calling that. We're going to face a min raise with pocket threes. And yeah, we're getting kind of short, but we're going to call. We got a pair. He's going to check it. And I mean, we got a lot of two pairs on this board. I don't mind this bet. Just try, try and steal this little pot real quick. All right, two hands later, we're going to have a limp, and we're going to have King-10 off, and I'm going to raise 3x because he's trying to limp. we got to charge him even more. I don't mind betting small because we got a lot of ace-x in our range again, and also in the last hand before this, someone did bust, and there is actually only 13 left. Don't you just love it when there's 10 left and you get ace-king off? Uh, hoping for a lucky, lucky, lucky gamble. Or maybe they can just fold. Don't really want to play big hand here. All right, I ended up ICMing to six, and yeah, I just wasn't picking much up. The blinds were becoming deadly. We decided to stick it in. Can we win this big ass pot? That ace is the worst card that you could possibly see, and then a bet and a jam. I mean, yeah, bro, you are finished. Yeah, that's, that hand was pretty sad. There was an all-in and a call and stuff, but I just, I just figured it, it's too good to fold. So I gambled there, hoping to hit the triple up. But that's going to be the end of this one. Make sure you sub if you want to see more. I will be making more. I'm actually about to start playing some poker right now, so... Hopefully we make another video right now. Alright, I just hope you all have a good day. And I hope you win all of your flips and not have hands like that one happen to you. Thank you.